Gary Busey is a legendary actor and personality known as much for his talent as his bizarre antics. But did you know he's not only faced health issues and addiction, but he's also nearly died several times and that he had to declare bankruptcy in 2012? Join us as Facts First presents Gary Busey's 78. Look at him now after he lost all his money. Gary Busey has led quite a tumultuous and legendary life. You could argue he's lived two or three of them. Busey's reputation as an eccentric oddball with talent, charisma, and dynamism is well known. He's used all of these attributes to not only succeed in the world of entertainment, but also to cultivate an aura of mystery and fascination. But his eccentricities and penchant for going his own way have also come back to haunt him several times in his life. Sex Crime Charges Gary may be 78 at this point, but that doesn't mean he's immune from potential allegations of bad behavior. In August of 2022, he was charged with three counts of sex crimes in New Jersey. Allegedly, while Busey was attending Monster Mania Con in Cherry Hill, New Jersey a few weeks prior, he groped at least two people. While Gary lives in Malibu, he was charged in New Jersey and will have to potentially stand trial there. Reportedly, several people came forward and said the actor had touched them inappropriately. This led to local police bringing several charges. There were two counts of fourth-degree criminal sexual contact, as well as one charge of attempted criminal sexual contact. He's been charged additionally with harassment. Police stated they received multiple accusations from an assortment of people after Busey participated in the convention. The event took place at a Doubletree Hotel, and like most conventions of its type, it was a place for fans to meet their acting and creative heroes in person. Sadly, it seems that some Gary Busey fans got more than they wanted from the actor. The case is still pending, so we'll see if it goes to trial or if it's settled out of court. Bankruptcy This is far from the first kerfuffle that Busey has been involved in over the course of his life. Some of his issues have been financial. In 2012, he declared bankruptcy, and it was reported he only had $50,000 in assets and over $500,000 in debts. The bankruptcy was the result of several factors, including failed business ventures, legal disputes, and medical bills. Busey had started a production company in the early 2000s, but it failed to make a profit. He also had a legal dispute with a former business partner, which resulted in a $1.5 million judgment against him. Busey's bankruptcy was also related to his health problems. In 1988, he suffered a severe motorcycle accident that caused a traumatic brain injury. He later developed a crippling addiction to cocaine and underwent multiple rehab stints. In 2010, he was diagnosed with cancer, which led to significant medical bills. Gary's Take on Bankruptcy In typical Busey fashion, Gary made the most out of his situation and used one of his famous acronyms, sometimes referred to as Busey-isms. He had previously been quoted as saying that the word failure is an acronym standing for Finding an Important Lesson, Inviting Needed Growth. But after his declaration of bankruptcy, Gary announced that the word bankruptcy is an acronym for Banks Ask Nothing, Knowing Recompense Under Profits Today Cannot Yield. You gotta give it to him, he's pretty creative with these acronyms. After declaring bankruptcy, Busey was required to liquidate his assets, which included his home in Malibu. He was also forced to pay back a portion of his debt through a payment plan. It's also interesting for fans to find out about his assets, which he was forced to state publicly for the bankruptcy. At the time, his debt to the IRS was around $500,000, and he said his monthly income was close to $20,000. But unfortunately, at that point, his expenses every month were almost $23,000, leaving him further and further in debt every month. Perhaps most interesting were some of the many Native American items he listed as part of his possessions. These included things like an old bull's head, a bald eagle figurine, bows and arrows, two small decorative teepees, and much more. Busey has embraced a Native American-based spirituality over the years as he's tried to recover from his motorcycle accident and drug addictions. Busey also listed various assorted items like 300 VHS tapes and 200 cassette tapes, all of which were presumably collected in the 80s and 90s. Gary's Accident As we mentioned, Gary's life was forever changed when he got into a serious motorcycle accident in December of 1988. Busey, who was not wearing a helmet at the time, suffered severe head injuries and was in a coma for several days. Despite undergoing multiple surgeries, his injuries left him with long-lasting effects, 
including impaired speech and memory loss. But Gary has since become an advocate for helmet safety and has spoken about the importance of wearing helmets while riding motorcycles. The accident was a turning point in his life and career, and a life-changing one for him and his family. He had to undergo a lengthy rehabilitation process to recover from his injuries and regain some of his cognitive abilities. Despite the challenges, Busey remained determined and worked hard to overcome his limitations. He also became more spiritual and began to see life from a different perspective. In interviews, he's often credited the accident with teaching him valuable life lessons and making him a better person. Following his accident, Busey has also become an advocate for traumatic brain injury, TBI, awareness and has worked with various organizations to help promote education and research on the topic. He's used his platform to raise awareness about the importance of early intervention and rehabilitation for individuals who have suffered from TBIs. Busey's accident serves as a reminder of the importance of safety measures, such as wearing helmets, while engaging in potentially dangerous activities. It also highlights the significant impact that TBIs can have on people and their families and the importance of ongoing research and education. Gary's Addiction Issues Gary's journey has included dealing with addiction. In 1995, he was arrested for drug possession after he accidentally overdosed in his Malibu home. According to Busey, he only remembers waking up in the hospital and had liquid pouring out of his eyes, mouth, and nose. He heard the doctors saying they'd found cocaine in his pocket, so they were assuming it was a cocaine overdose. While it was obviously a tragedy that he even got to the point where he was overdosing, the incident changed him. In an interview, Busey talked about how when he got home from the hospital that day in 1995, he realized he'd been dancing with the devil in a circle that's very tight. He then mentioned that the devil always leads that particular dance, and it wasn't one he wanted to be involved in anymore. He likened cocaine to a mineral sent from Satan himself, and that it was robbing him of his freedom. From that day on, he vowed never to give in to the temptations of addictions again. But despite this, addiction issues have still plagued the actor. He's spoken openly about his struggles, including his addiction to cocaine and alcohol. He's described himself as being in a state of denial for many years, even as his issues worsened. But in the years since his arrest, he's made a number of efforts to get clean and sober. He's been involved in various rehabilitation programs, including Alcoholics Anonymous and Narcotics Anonymous and has undergone a number of medical treatments to help him overcome his addiction issues. Pet Judge In 2020, Gary appeared in court several times, only these were paid appearances. Busey starred in the show Pet Judge, which had the veteran actor playing a fake judge who presided over cases involving house pets. In the show, a variety of problems were brought before the Honorable Judge Busey, and he had to decide which of the claimants would win jurisdiction over their pet-related issues. For example, a woman wanted to bury their family cat in a mausoleum while her husband wanted to give it a Viking funeral. There was also a case where a woman, convinced her dead husband had been reincarnated as the family dog, was suing her insurance company who wouldn't permit the dog to be included on their policy. Busey doled out his usual bizarre and oddly calming advice, making the show a fun and quirky one to watch. The only season aired in 2020, and there's no word if more will be made. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know Gary Busey was in an accident that nearly killed him and that he overdosed in 1995? Let us know in the comments section below.